Here we go. What's going on, Excel fanatics? Vertex is here. So today's video is about count ifs, right? So you've seen my sum ifs video. You've seen my sum product video. So now we're going to go through a third one called count ifs and work with a few examples of multiple criteria. So real quick with the differences between a sum and a count, a count being the number of occurrences where a sum is adding up the total value of something. So say if you have column F here, if I'm highlighting these three rows, right? That's a count, you can look at right down here, a count of three, but that's a sum of 3,300, right? So the number of occurrences is three. So what we're gonna do here, is start with one example of doing a count of sales for each month. So right now, every one of these lines represents a sale. So we're gonna see how many per month that we have using these count ifs. So count ifs. Here's the criteria range. I'm just gonna highlight the entire month column here. And then the criteria one is going to be this criteria in cell B3. And we're just using this one set of criteria now as practice. So three, all right? So just to confirm that that's correct, January shows up three times. If I double click that and it drags its way all the way down, nothing in February, confirmed, and so on and so forth. So I think we're in pretty good shape here, right? So this is the number of sales. So if I wanted to say like, oh, we had the highest number of sales in November. If you wanted to see the actual value of those sales, that's when the sum ifs would come into play and that would be a helpful way to review your performance. So the next item that I want to go through is the items. So in this data set here, right, this is the one I've used in the Summist video, the Sum Product video, and we the item of sale is either a bed or a couch, right? So within the months of sales, how many couches were sold, how many beds were sold? So we're going to do the similar aspect, right? Count ifs. And to keep losing the thing here. So this is what we're looking to count. And we're gonna select bed, because they're all the same thing, right? And I'm gonna just do F4. See how the dollar sign showed up, just so that this doesn't move as we drag down the formula. And the other criteria being the month. Did it again, sorry. All right, so I just highlighted column C for the month. I'm going back to the item summary and I'm selecting the month here. Now, keep in mind the difference, right? So the month in this case is establishing the criteria. But this first, this column EE is counting the specific item. So that's where there's the distinguishing factor there. See, the format is dollar sign because that's left over from the sum product videos and sum ifs. So, to, so let's confirm this, right? So January, bed. So the month of January, bed shows up twice. So if we drag down, zero, right? We remember there was nothing in February, three beds. Cool. So now let's check out couch. So what we can do actually here, you can actually drag it over the formula here, drag it to the right and then just adjust as necessary, but let's just keep the practice going and just type it in ourselves here. So equals count ifs, criteria one. We're counting the items here, right? That's why this in the criteria range is we're counting the items. So criteria one here is going to be couch F4, Next criteria to make sure that it's counting within the month is column C. And we want to make sure it matches with column B3 here. And we're not locking in B3, right? Because we want, as we drag down, we wanted to adjust for the month. Again, this is $1. Control Shift 1 is a good shortcut for numbers. And drag that down. So let's just double check one couch and November was oops 
five couches, right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so there you have it. There's a nice and quick, easy formula here. I'm gonna provide the data set like I have for the past two videos in the, de in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this was helpful for you.